Today we're going to go through how to use the web UI to update the firmwares on our eSurvey GNSS receivers. So I've powered on my head and I'm just going to connect to the internal Wi-Fi on my laptop. If you to disconnect from your main Wi-Fi, just make sure that the connect automatically is not ticked. And you can see the internal Wi-Fi there of my E600. Connect to that and then in your browser just type 192.168.10.1 Okay, so it's asking for a password here. This password is just password in lower caps. If you have an E100, it might ask you for a username. Just type in admin lower caps as well. So now I'm on the web UI. If you go to the information page, which is found here, you can see your firmware version. You can also see the board firmware version. And then at the bottom, you can see your radio firmware version. Now, just make a note of what radio model you have. It's either going to be TRM121 or TRM101. After that, if you go down to management, which is here, and then underneath install new firmware, just choose file. So out of those folders that have been sent, if you just go to one that is corresponding with your model, and the first thing you're going to update is the radio. So the radio has been updated, I can just click back here and it'll take me back to the install new firmware or you can just click the management page again. Now we're just going to update the board firmware, so go to choose file and then select the board firmware and just click upload. Yep. So the board firmware is now updated successfully. So I'm just going to click manage management again. Choose file. So we've done the radio, the board, and then the final firmware update is the main E600 firmware update. And you select that and then click upload file. So the main firmware has been uploaded successfully. The receiver reset itself twice. The first time um, it reset itself and then there was just the flashing light pattern and then it reset itself again. So I'm just gonna check that I'm still connected to the Wi-Fi. Connect to that. And then on the management page, if you refresh once you've reconnected, into password and then go down to management so once you've updated all three firmwares if you have the E100 model you only need to update two firmwares as you don't have a, a radio capabilities on there so once all three updated scroll down to the bottom of management page and there's a restore factory settings just click OK on that and then OK at the top and it resets the receiver back to factory settings. So the factory reset has been performed. The GPS went through itself checks. I'm just going to connect back to the internal Wi-Fi. Refresh the web UI. And then just type in the password again, which is password lower caps. And then if you go to the information page, you can check that you've got your new firmware on there. Check you've got the new board firmware on there. And then if you have the E300, 500 and 600, you can check your new radio firmware on there as well.